Hey, this is Ed with Ed's Buckthorn Control. Here to show you how to use the Buckthorn Blaster to treat your cut stumps and prevent woody species from re-sprouting. First of all, these don't come from the manufacturer with any herbicide. You'll need to make your own choices about herbicide, follow the label on how to use it, what personal protective equipment to use, and how to apply it. This recommends glyphosate and we use triclopyr 4 for our business. Uh, that allows us to treat any time of year and um, glyphosate we have had trouble Treating in the spring when the sap is flowing up, treating in the winter is a no-go. Um, glyphosate really we've only had luck with in the fall. So we use triclopyr 4 mixed with diesel and uh, a blue dye or in this case we bought, uh, we mixed it with a penetrating oil instead of diesel and that particular oil already had the blue dye in it. Um, but again, the choice is yours. Uh, just don't use Tordon, Peak Glow Ram, or Peak, yeah, Peak Glow Ram. Uh, that stuff is super harsh and definitely overkill for buckthorn or really any woody species that you're gonna stump treat. So follow the label, the label is the law. Once you've got it loaded up, and you've got a freshly cut stump. You actually don't need it to be freshly cut for triclopyr, but if you're using glyphosate, it definitely needs to be a freshly cut stump. Really, that's all it takes is you just touch it. If it turns it blue, then you're good to go. That's all. Now, if you have a larger stump, you only need to go around the perimeter. What you're aiming for is called the cambium layer, which is right between the bark and the most recent growth of the sapwood. So right here is where you wanna get that herbicide. All right, that should do it. Good luck and be safe.